think uh, the, the fight's here. I'm ready to go. My guy's ready to go. The only thing I thought it was disrespectful that Floyd Sr. didn't get to speak yesterday, but um, that's not my choice. But if you have any questions, just have at it. Ready. Is this a must win fight for you and for Manny? And if yes, why? Well, it's. it's It'd be a great fight to win. It's something we trained real hard for. I'm not so sure if it's a must fight win. I don't think our, career, our careers are over if we do lose against a good fighter like me. But this is two of the best fighters fighting each other. It's big for both both uh, both guys. So, it, but it's not a must fight win. No. Freddie, um, playing off that question a little bit in terms of uh, how much you wanted this and thought about this. If it doesn't go your way, do you think? five, ten years, whenever it's over for you, you'll look back and there won't be a hint of disappointment or regret that you couldn't get this guy? Well, I've been training for this opponent for five years. I've been studying this guy for five years. I know a lot about him. I think we've covered all the bases. I think I've got many with a win winning formula. And I do think we will, we will, will win this fight, but uh, it would be you know, disappointing, yes. But uh, again, to, to lose to an undefeated fight like this, it's, it's not, it is no shame. Hey, Freddie, um, over here. Uh, I think conventional wins, or most people seem to think that Mayweather is a favorite, obviously. They think he's going to win. What are people, do you think, getting wrong? Well, you know, he's a good fighter, but he's kind of picked his own opponents the whole time. He's picked and chose who he wants to fight. I don't feel like he's really picked this one. That I don't really think he wants to fight us in this fight. I think he was forced to fight this fight with, you know, uh, Showtime and, uh, um, you know, they need, they, the deal they, they have with him, they, you know, was losing money. And they needed a big fight like this. And I think um, I think it wasn't, it wasn't a choice. I think he was forced by Showtime to fight this fight with the deal he had with them. Freddie, are you at this point, uh, are, you, are you insulating Manny from everybody and what are your plans with, for him and for you today and tomorrow, the last two days before the fight? Well, Manny wanted to jog a little bit this morning, so I, I gave him the okay. And uh, so he had a very light run at the track and he half run, half walked just real easy. And he does want to work out today. He wants to shake out with me in the gym today and have a little workout, break a little sweat. He was down to 144 yesterday, so I told him, you know, eat a good meal, it's not, you know, I said, but the workout today is not gonna be too heavy. So, but then, uh, after, the, uh, after that, he's gonna have breakfast tomorrow and then get on the scale. Freddie, right here, Freddie, Freddie, right here. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Your fight with Parkinson's has been well documented. How is that going, and what advice would you give to those who have that and how to live and manage their lives moving forward? Well, the first thing is not to lay down and die. You work every day. Just uh, hand-eye coordination exercises do well for me. I have a new neurologist, and uh, he's working out pretty good. Uh, Dr. Sumsky from Cedar sinai and he's got me on some new medications. And I haven't shook in in over six months, so things are going well. Freddie, I'm over here. Um, I miss you yesterday. I hope yeah, things okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, I, I, I wondered, uh, do you have anything in particular that you would like to bring up at your gloves today? Um, I'm going to bring up the, the, the glove selection. Um, our gloves were selected a couple days ago. We turned ours in. I don't even know his are in yet. Um, the commissioner did set, set a date, and they, they've, they've long passed their due. What about the conduct of the fight? What do you think about it? No, I think everything's going okay. I think we have a great referee. I think we have you know, some you know, good judges, um, people that I'm familiar with my whole, a lot of my life. I think uh, the referee is, a good referee. I, I don't think he has any room for, for mistake either with this big, big crowd. I, I, you know, this is the biggest fight ever. Um, I think he'll give us a fair call, and I trust this will happen. Nothing about warnings for either fighter. Well, you know, the thing is, with the elbows and the shoulders, he is gonna. I'm gonna, you know, address that in, in, in the dressing room, and he's gonna, he's gonna be sure 
warn me whether or not about that. Will he let him get away with it? I'm not sure, but if he does let him get away with it, we are well prepared to counter that. Um, Manny's been taught how to handle that deal, and you know, if the referee does let what Manny does back, the guy's trying to follow me. That's his only complaint. Thank you, Freddie. Freddie, Freddie, over here on your uh, on your uh, right here. New York. Can you just talk a little bit? I'm reading quotes where you use the word, you know, with Floyd Mayweather Sr., you hate that guy, that the family, and so forth. Can you expand a little bit on that? I really don't hate Floyd Mayweather Sr. Uh, he just, uh, his poems are they're cute, but, you know, I don't like cute so much from another guy. <laughs> but, um, the other thing is, uh, he doesn't get under my skin at all. He's just, uh, he's trying to do the best job he can, and I'm trying to do the best job I can. And, um, there's, there's no hard feelings, but I was really, really felt bad for him not being, not being able to sit at the dance and not be able to speak. I think that was wrong, but, um, yeah, I got to speak, but I didn't hate him. Uh, so I think, I, I don't think they were fair. Then just to follow up on that, if you can, just a little more about Floyd seems so subdued for this promotion, especially this week. Um, expand a little bit more on what you think Floyd might be thinking at this point in time. Well, you know, after the first press conference, I was, I was driving home and I was thinking, uh, he's not going to show up, <laughs> you know, because he's just way too nice. And uh, I even tried to get him going by saying, we're going to kick your ass and no comment back by anybody. Uh, it just started making it a little more exciting. And um, so um, it didn't work, but um, I said he's much too calm and I'm driving home and I'm, I'm saying I, I hope this fight happens. And, but we're, I think we're too close now. I don't think anyone's pulling out this close. Okay, Freddie, right here, front, front and center. So the ticket prices for the fight are staggering, and I was wondering, from the very front row all the way to the nose pleats, and does that fact play a role in your mind where these people demand a lot of actions, and do you think both fighters are going to deliver? Well, I know my guy's going to deliver. Um, I can't promise you about the Floyd, but he did put a lot of muscle on. Usually he put a lot of muscle on to fight. Um, so I hope that's what he chooses to do. But um, I think he's going to come out in the early rounds and try to knock us out. And we're well prepared for that. And I hope that does happen. Uh, but I'm not sure. He could run all night. But um, I've seen, I have fallen asleep at a couple of his fights before. Freddie, um, over here on your right. Um, you, uh, how many, can you update us on how many um, random tests Manny has now had? And do you, do you expect to be tested in the next 48 hours before the fight? And, and second part of that is, um, Manny has obviously talked about not enjoying needles just before a fight. Is he over that now? I think he's over that now. We'll be tested in our gym over 12 times this training camp. I hope it's even. I don't know about the other training camp, but I know we'll be tested by blood tests over 12 times. Freddie, you said uh, this morning that, and, and continually that this is a fight that Floyd doesn't want to fight. What do you think he fears about Manny? Um, I think this is a big step up for him. I think Manny is the first guy that's faster than he is, footwork and hand speed. So I just think it's a tough fight for, for both guys. But um, I, you know, like, I, I don't think fighters are scared, are scared of each other. This is, that's not part of the sport. They're, we chose this sport. I don't, I don't think anyone's really scared. But I just feel this might, be his, might not be his first choice. Freddie, have you any concerns that Manny may need a knockout because Floyd will be the favorite to get a decision at the MGM ground? No, I really think we can win, we can win a 12 round decision there. That's what my game plan is, is to outscore him. And I think many of these fast combinations can do that, but if he stays in the pocket too long, he will get hit back. And this is something we have to not do. We've worked on it in tra our entire training camp. So he's well prepared for whatever Floyd brings. If Floyd comes to fight, we're ready for that. Um, if, uh, if he wants to run, we will cut the ring off. Fred, right here to your left. Um, you have had a long career as a trainer. Have you thought about how this fight will affect your legacy as a trainer, depending on success or failure? A little bit. You know, the thing is, I, I think um, 
I think I'm uh, as good a uh, coach as anybody, and I, I, I take pride in my work, and I hate to lose. And Manny Pacquiao has been really on fire for this training camp. From day one, he was his, since this fight was announced, he's been really happy. We've had a great training camp. We've had a lot of fun. We always have fun in training camp because this is not a job. This is what we love to do. This is, uh, you know, this is it's fun for us, but a lot of that fun comes into serious play also. And we've had a good training camp. Um, Manny really listened very well. We even went back in the dress room a couple of times and Manny wanted to watch tape with me uh, with a couple of fights. It was the first time in my life that he's ever asked me to do that and I thought it was very good. So um, we're, we're on the same page. We know what, what kind of fight we need to fight and uh, I think he's going to do it. And then real quick yesterday, he believes that Mayweather is, quote, scared of Pacquiao. What's your response to those comments? Well, Mike knows a lot about boxing. I like Mike. So, yeah, I, I did get to train him for two fights, and uh, it was a great experience. And um, uh, I'll go with that one. Floyd, uh, 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 Floyd made some comments uh, yesterday, um, showing respect for you, for many, for uh, the Filipino fans. Um, does it show that he's more major now? Do you, can you sense more respect from his side? Floyd Jr. has always been nice to me. Every time I walk, walk past him in the hallway, he says, Hi, Mr. Roach. He's very respectful. I've never had a problem with the fighter. I have had problems with uh, Roger and the father before, but nothing really, really serious. Um, you know, it's just competitive. I mean, we talk leading up to the fight, but now the fight's here. The trash talk is it's about over. Pretty. It's been said in boxing, the, the body has a memory. Manny has experimented a big knockout versus Marquez. He fought still, but uh, he never fought face uh, someone with a big timing like uh, Floyd. Do you think it's an issue for you? Well, you know, Marquez is a great counter puncher. He fought us four times. He learned a lot about us in those four times. I think he's a smarter fighter than anyone else out there. And I think he knew what to do when Manny stepped on his foot that during the round, Manny was stepping in for the kill. He stepped on his foot, lost his balance a little bit. I've taught my fighters this the same thing. When somebody steps, steps on your foot, you hit him with the right hand as hard as you can because he's right in front of you. And that's what he did. It worked. It was, I won't say it was lucky. It was well planned. And um, you know, those things happen. But Manny knows that getting knocked out in this sport is, is part of the sport. I mean, if you don't think you can get knocked out, you, you should pick something else. I mean, it's part of, it's part of life, it's part of, it's part of a boxer's life to, to get knocked out. That's why Manny understands it so well, and it doesn't really bother him that much. Uh, going into the hospital after the fight, I said to Manny, I said, okay, let's go to the ambulance. He said, wait, I have to go to the bathroom first. I says, why? He says, I have to wash the blood off my face. I said, he knows what's happening. He knew what just happened to him. Very, he was very aware of what happened. He was a little disappointed, but again, he's been knocked out twice before. And again, knockouts are part of our lives. Freddie, what is your concern about the gloves of Mayweather that you did? You called about that a few days ago. Are you still concerned with that? Well, I just asked the commission if both gloves could be weighed, our gloves and their gloves, because. Um, their gloves are handmade by um, Grant, and our, our, our gloves are made by uh, a computer system in Mexico with the Folsom and the Reyes. And um, I just want to make sure that the weight on the gloves was, was, were fair. And now his gloves haven't shown up yet. I want to know what they're made of. Uh, half horse hair, half, half foam full foam or, or all a horse hair. So I'm concerned about what they're made of and uh, they are concerned with mine also. So we've already tested mine, but we haven't had a chance to test this yet. And I'm looking forward to that. Freddie, I've noticed in the past on a couple of occasions at least, it has been because of the people in your corners love and emotion for Manny that it could get a little chaotic over there during the course of the fight yes. um, to the point where there's a lot of people talking or even crying uh, you know, at, at times. Are you actually, because of the significance of this fight, kind of laying down the law to everybody about that? 
I am, but it's hard to control because uh, Boo Boy does supposed to repeat, repeat what I say in English just to make sure he gets it, but sometimes I'm not sure that that's what, what happens because he talks a lot longer than I do. And then one day against um, Kodo, Manny went to the ropes and he was laying on the ropes getting hit pretty hard and he started crying and I said, wait a minute, I got one guy fighting doing what I told him not to do and I got another guy crying. I said, why are you crying? He says, because you told him to get off the ropes and he's, he's on the ropes. I said, don't worry, we'll take care of that. And Manny's sol solution to that whole problem is I want to see how hard he gets. I said, well, I don't know if that's a good idea, but um, that's what he wanted to do. So he says, I can take his punch and everything will settle after that. But it, did, it does get a little funny sometimes. Fred, over here. How concerned were you with how Manny would bounce back from the Marquez uh, knockout loss? I really wasn't affected. I didn't think he was too affected by that. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a bad knockout. It was um, something I was a little worried about. I, I believe that he laid down for a, a long time. I, I was worried. And then when I started talking to him on the way back to the, doctor, to the doctor's office and made sure he's checked out and everything's okay, and then when I walked into the ambulance, he wanted to get the blood out of his face. I thought he was very aware of what, what, what just happened. He never we had all the tests done by the doctors at the hospital. And when I started back with him in the gym, there was no, there was no flaws, no changes, no gun shy. Um, he took it very well. I, I have no concern about that. Um, when I first met Manny, I said, Manny, can I watch some of your old tapes? He said, sure. He showed me two fights where he got knocked out. I said, why did you show me that? He said, that's part of my life. I said, why didn't you show me something good? <laughs> but uh, that's what I would do. <laughs> but um, he wanted to show me the worst parts, and uh, they did. he saved the best, the best parts for later. Ready? Uh, you suggested that Floyd is, uh, you think he may not show up, or he's afraid that Mike Tyson has backed that up. Then why would you suggest that he would, uh, Floyd will go for a knockout the first, in the early rounds? Well, that's what I would do. I wouldn't watch the Marquez fight so much about the knockout. I would watch the first knockdown in that fight, and that's what I am going off, that Floyd is seeing that many got hit by that big overhand right. It was kind of a sucker shot. It's a fight, uh, it's a shot that fighters like him shouldn't get hit with. He pulled away from it. We've worked on a, a lot on that, but I do think Mayweather will come out with a shot like that because he can punch when he wants to. And, um, you know, the thing is, um, as a coach, I would uh, advise my fighter to take advantage of it if he could. Freddie, um, just to follow up on that comment you made about when you first met Manny and he showed you those tapes, mm -hmm. why don't you decide to work with somebody who showed you two tapes where he got knocked out? That's not the way to go in a job interview. That's true, but the thing is, after we were met together, uh, I was so uh, impressed with his power and his speed. Um, it, took, it took one round for me to go over to my people and say, well, I'll just keep a bite. And he went over to his manager and says, we have a new trainer. And we've been together for 15 years now, and it's been a great 15. So, thank you.